Hello, I'm back for another video and I'm in a different spot. Um, my daughter is house sitting at my girlfriend's house and it's quiet over here so I thought I would do a video uh, while she's here. So, um, but I have coffee, not in my mug, but I have mugs like this. Um, I might do a couple videos here just because it's quiet and my daughter's gonna be house sitting for about a month and we're doing some girls night. So tonight we're hanging out and watching TV and being away from the boys. So I was supposed to come back uh, earlier and I've been busy, so I haven't been able to. And um, I was supposed to do my introduction to the first ladies videos and I haven't gotten that done, but that will be hopefully done Monday morning. Um, I'll do an introduction to that video and tell you how it's going to play out. Um, I'll tell you a little bit now, even though you'll see it in the introduction video. Uh, I will probably, I was going to do the series um, of videos from the end of January through like the first week of March, but it's gotten busy and crazy. And I kind of debated on how to do it. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to highlight a few of the first ladies and the next winter do another set of first ladies. Uh, and I don't want to cram them all in because I think they each deserve their own amount of time and there's a lot of information. So what I decided to do is it's going to be an ongoing series. So next week I will be uploading a episode on Martha Washington. And a lot of the videos will be individual first ladies, and some of them will be a few, but I will do them in order. So this could go on for a while because there's a lot of first ladies. And that'll be fun. And I will still do lives, live videos, um, but it'll be occasionally. It won't be like one a week. So I'll do my regular floss tubes. I'll do the first ladies and needlework of the time series. And it could take us a year to get through it. I don't know. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get a few videos in in the next few weeks to month. Summertime, I'm super booked out with exclusives and a bunch of stuff that I have to do and a little bit of traveling. So I know that time period might be a little slower. Um, and then we'll just kick it back up again. So it'll just be ongoing and in order. And that way I can really dedicate um, the kind of time that I want to to each episode and I'd like to do some different giveaways and exclusives and things and that'll just kind of give me more time to plan each video accordingly and you know just to plan it out the right way so that's what I'm going to do and I'll explain more of it in the introduction video um I will also announce the first live on that video I believe I may do one next weekend we'll see I have to look at the calendar and the weather and all that stuff I will probably be here with my daughter again next weekend so if I do I'll do it here so that's that so because I'm not at home all I did was I grabbed a couple things that I got in the mail the couple things I've been stitching on and then just a stack of charts so they're not charts that I'm necessarily going to start right away, but they were just at hand, and I thought we'll just do a chart parade. So that's that. Um, okay, what did I get? Well, I didn't even bring everything I got. So one thing that I got since the last video was the um, Country Sampler Threads. I think it's Threads. Oh, shoot. Is it Threads of History? Threads of History Club. And, well, I should take this out. It's Bertha Mae Brown Sampler by Chessie and Me. And so this, you only get this if you're in the club, and it'll be released to the general public at some point um, in the next year or so. But it's a little Scottish sampler, and I think from what I read on the Country Sampler website, I haven't really looked at the chart yet, was that it's a reproduction, but Linda, the designer, Bertha Mae Brown, I believe is her grandmother. I think she personalized it for her family member, I think. 
So I don't know, it doesn't really say. I don't know if that's the original name of the original stitcher, but. So it's kind of an unusual color combination. So I'm not gonna stitch this anytime soon, but you never know when that might strike. And I may wanna do that. Okay, so I got that. And then today in the mail, I got from Kitten Stitcher the um, Teresa Koga exclusive, Big Folk Flower. I think, check it out again. This camera angle is so weird because it's I'm not in my normal, I'm not in the normal zone. Okay. I just, she had options to get a kit or to get the chart and it came with this little um, folk art like needle minder, which I don't use needle minders, but that's cute. And this is Big Folk Flower. I think I saw an email, either saw an email or I was on her website that she originally had sold out of the kits, but she may still have the chart available. And I just thought, ugh, I'm not stitching that anytime soon. Look at all that stitching in there. Big Folk Flower. But it's really cute. So, it said exclusive and I had to get it. What the heck's going on here? All right. So I got that, and I know I got more, but I just couldn't remember. I was trying to grab everything and get out of the house. And I met my older daughter for dinner and ran to the grocery store and all that good stuff. So the other thing I did buy last night from 1884 Stitchery, she released the Maggie Stewart sampler. This was a, a Macintosh sampler. Ooh. And now 1884 Stitchery purchased this company and she has all of the, she said that she will release all of these. Um, I think on her Instagram, she might have a, oh shoot, I'm gonna dip this in my coffee. She might have a photo. I, th I think she might have one on her Instagram of all of these. She hung all of the Macintosh sampler um, shop models in her hallway. And oh my gosh, they look so good. I mean, you could literally just stitch all of these and put them together because the pa color palette that the designer used is so similar in all of them that they really go well together. So that, I got the PDF, but you can also get the hard copy at 1884stitchery.com. And there's a few Macintosh that I would like. I can't wait for her to release. That's all I brought for the haul stuff. So I'll show you what I was working on. Well, since I was showing 1884 chart, I started like a week ago. I really just wanted to see what this looks like stitched. And this is the Ann Perry sampler. This is another Macintosh sampler. And I think that's Scottish. So same thing, you can get a hard copy and have it mailed to you or you can do PDF. And if anybody stitched this, you guys should email me or text or message me a photo because I have never seen a stitched one. And I asked McKenna and she does not have, there was no model for this one um, that she got anyway. So I'd love to see what that one looks like stitched up because I also picked a darker fabric. So, well, let me show you my project bag. So that's all the colors. They're kind of bright. Lots of pinks, turquoise, bright blue. And I decided I wanted to try it on a darker fabric. So I did it. This is uh, Tabby Cat Muddy Duck. And that top row, whoop. This row here is, that's the full width of the sampler. So I kind of, I did that first row of alphabet and then I came down here because I wanted to see what the colors would look like. This is like a, there's like a pink. This is actually kind of a pinkish color. And then the royal blue, the red, 
the green. I had also been working on, I didn't bring it, but I worked on um, Ann Morrison by Hands Across the Sea. And all I did was eyelets for like a week. So this row right here is eyelets and I didn't want to do a ton of them because I'm sick of them. So I just wanted to see what the colors would look like on this linen. And I think it's going to look good on the dark. And um, this pattern, some of you might like it because there's no border. I don't mind a border, but a lot of people don't like borders and there's no border on this one. So easy to stitch. And I like this color of linen. It's kind of a army. It's a brown, but it kind of reminds me of like a, I don't know, like an army duffel bag or something. Like the brown that's in fatigues. Okay, so I worked on that. Actually, that was, might have been longer than a week ago that I did that. I tried to work on it last night, but I'll get to why I stopped in a minute. So then for the beginning of February, it was um, Hands Across the Sea, first week of the month. So I did a little bit on Ann Morrison, which I didn't bring because all I did was eyelets. The whole like bottom of that sampler is just eyelets, 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 and they take forever. So the progress isn't, you know, real spectacular. Her dogs are barking. Um, okay, so I worked on Rachel Sheard, which was in the Kitten Stitcher sampler box. So if you didn't buy the sampler box, you can't. That's the only place you could get this. And she might even still have some. Last time I was on her website, I think she did still have the sampler boxes. So for the first week of the month... With hands across the sea I worked on that this is a fun one and it's not gonna take me long to finish so and I'm doing that with the 103s and this is Hawthorne by Needle and Flex so yeah I'm chugging right along this one um there's this kind of border, and then above that, it's like a solid, like, three of the green stitches. So there's more, a little bit more to the border, but that'll be like fill-in. So this one's going to be cute. So that's what I worked on there. And then, okay, so last night, I decided I had time to stitch, and I was going to work on Aunt Perry, but I was in Patreon, and Teresa Kogut was doing her market release preview for Patreon members. So I watched that, and then, of course, wanted to stitch every Teresa Kogut. So for the last hour before I went to bed, I pulled back out. Thank God I had a bunch of hers started, because I was really in the mood. This is one of her market releases, which was a Patreon chart. And it's Remember Me. So this one gets released first weekend of March in a booklet form. I just have the Patreon PDF. And this is another one I am doing on um, Hawthorne. So I just worked a little bit on the words last night, but I think this is my this might be what I stitch on tonight. So, and that's just uh, DMC. So, watching that video put me in the Teresa Kogut mood. She has two releases coming out on my linen, and they're really good. So, I'm going to have to get those for sure. And then a bunch of the uh, Patreon, um, well, I'll show you one of them. I do have one with me because I wasn't sure if I'd work on it tonight. I think I have it with me. Hold on a minute. I got stuff all over this table. Hang on. Okay, let's see. I did bring it. I did. 
I might have shown you this last time. So this was another one of her market releases. I did show this last time because I'm having deja vu. Strawberry Manor. This was the stitch along for Patreons. I'm doing it on 40 count prairie grass. And I haven't worked on it since I showed you before. But it's good. This one actually moves quick. I haven't worked on it very long. Do you need to get that dog? Okay. So, did that. All right, so now... The dog's totally barking. Her dogs have the same... She has Pyrenees mixed dogs, so they bark a lot like mine does. My last video, mine were... Well, the German Shepherd was the one hacking up stuff in the background. And he's also the one that uh, clinks his toenails on everything. Okay, so I just grabbed some charts. I'm going to show you. I don't know. I'll tell you as I pull them out what I was thinking and why they were. I have all these different piles and reasons why charts are in different areas. And I kind of just grabbed some. Some of these are sort of in my plans that I would like to start this year. Some of them were just put with some stuff that was kitted together. I don't know. So this really isn't like future plans. This is just a, I had to have some of the show. So I grabbed a little chart parade. And I'm sure you've seen most of these. But there are a few in here that I would like to start somewhat soon. Now I pulled this one out. This one was in my pile. Spring Basket Pin Keep from Stacy Nash. This was for their spring soiree. And I pulled this one out because I don't really do spring decor, but I thought that would be kind of cute. There's a few springy um, pieces. I don't really decorate for spring, but there are a few spring type pieces. Teresa Covet. Last year at market, her release was like a rabbit one, and it was done on Vintage Country Mocha. I got to pull that one out because I think I bought all the DMC for it last year. It's a really, really cute pattern, and there's one that's very similar that she's releasing this year as the market exclusive that's another rabbit one, and that one's on Dirty Teacup with mostly DMC, and they'd look really good together. So I don't know. Maybe I will do a spring stitch this year. But this would be cute just like in a bowl somewhere and kind of hanging out. <sighs> okay, so at Christmas time I was doing the Stacy Nash, the, the Christmas pin drum to put on the little pedestal. I still have it out because I'd like to get it finished, but I feel like I should, if I start another, I want to do all four. Three have been released, so she had a spring one, a winter, and then she released the summer one, and we're just waiting on the fall. I kind of feel like I should jump ahead and maybe do this patriotic patriotic one. It's not as much stitching as the Christmas. And this is Big Blue House Pin Keep Drum. This one is, the kit is like really packed, so I'm not pulling, pulling it out. But I thought maybe I should start that, and then maybe that would be done. If I could get this done like by the end of July, if I can get it done. Um, then I could just move on. By then we'll have the fall one and I could start stitching the fall in the late summer. Who knows? Who knows? Probably my least favorite is the spring one. So I think I'm going to skip over that one and move to this one. Start that. This one I had out because I would like to start this this year. This is another one. All these, uh, market release previews. I am registered for market. I don't think I'm going to go as a attendee, as a buyer. I don't think I'll be able to go. If I go, I will be driving. Um, I haven't decided yet. It could be very last minute. I'm leaning towards no. But either way, I'm still watching the market releases. Queenstown Sampler, I think, has nine sampler releases for market. I want a lot of them. So this one, before she did those releases, I just kitted this one up with the silks. 
because I think this is uh, Phoebe Nichols, 1824. And I would really like to stitch that one. This is an older one. You can get this now. But some of her market stuff that she has um, for March, she has a New Jersey one. And I can't remember the name, but it is like one of the top of my list for market purchases. And she always charts. She's like Kathy Barrick. She always has... Um, Needlepoint ink as the silk and then a DMC conversion. So I'm going to do this in needlepoint ink in the silk. Okay. Here's the other one. This one I already, I did, I had gone out to the store. I bought all the threads. I was very excited. I showed this last time. This is another market release from Teresa Kogut. Needle and Flax. She showed her stitched model. Um, she has a floss tube video out that uploaded today. So now everybody can see it. But last night, she was showing us the models. And it's so cute stitched up. So it's at the top of my pile. And I think I'm going to do mine on Dirty Teacup. And this is a chunk that I had... Something got on this piece. There's like a smudge of something on it. So I couldn't send it out. And I get to keep it. And it'll be perfect for a little pillow. So, oh, and here's the my see-through bag. Here's all the colors. So she said it took her a long time to stitch that because it looks really tiny. And she's like, "There's a lot of stitches in there." Well, duh, all of her stuff. Is stuff. Oh, it looks like oh, I could whip that out real quick. Uh uh. That border, and I don't mind filling. She was talking about she doesn't mind filling. I don't mind filling either. But this stuff, does, this is all going to take some time. But it's cute. Uh, another one I have kitted. This was from Expo, and this is another, Stace, I get in Stacy Nash moods. This is the Let Love Grow Pin Keep, and I had been thinking that might be cute for Valentine's Day, but that's next week, so that's not going to happen. It could be any day, though. I have all the week's dye works. And there we go. Let love grow pinky. This is another one that I kitted up earlier this year. I should take out the... This is Helen Virtue, 1812 from Scarlet Letter. And whenever I'm in the mood for a Scottish sampler, I like this one. And I did buy the silk for that one, the Avera Swap. Actually, I'm missing one that I have to find and order. And I don't know what linen I'll do, but that's one I'd like to start. So far, they're all ones I'd like to start this year. This one I'm not starting this year, but I love it. This is Samplers Revisited Elizabeth Young. Eighteen, 1829. I love that. I'm not going to start that this year. Although you never know. So we got that. all of these. I mean, you've seen everything I have before, but in a different order, maybe it'll feel different. Uh, this one I got at Hobby House. I was kind of, there's two Reflet de Soie that have this sort of religious Mary kind of theme on it. Aline Le Boutillier, Le Boutillier 1903. I have to find the other chart that I have, and I can't remember. Is it El Marie, maybe? And compare the two, because I'd like to do one like that. I think that's Mary. Yeah, it is. At first I was like, maybe that's Jesus. I don't know, it's Mary. 
I'd like to get one of those going. <clears throat> this I got last summer at Country Sampler. And I think I saw someone doing this on Instagram. I don't know. I saw it recently on the internet and I was like, ooh, I have that. This is Ann Fritz, 1824. So, don't have that kitted. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Sampler work, this is an old one. So this is, I think this is out of print. The next couple are out of print, so. If you want them, you're gonna have to do an eBay search. This is Sampler Works, True Virtue Sampler. Oh, I love this one. Okay. I don't think I've shown this one before. I don't know, maybe I have. I love when they have the vowels, A-E-I-O-U. She has an alphabet, but this would totally be me. Like, let's not do a million alphabets. Let's just cut to the chase, A-E-I-O-U. I'm out. So I don't have that kitted or anything, but. Oh, shoot. It's kind of bent a little bit. Okay, this next one I pulled out was a gift. It is a handwork sampler. I think this was in my handwork sampler. Yeah. This is another one that's out of print. You'd have to look for it. This is um, 1837 Cornelia Grover. I think that would be fun on a darker linen too. Because the house is like, whoop. The house is, there's a lot of satin stitches in this one. Sorry. <laughs> I think the hat, let me see. No, the house is stitched. At first it looked like there was a lot of satin stitches. The grass looks like satin stitch, which is easy. I mean, quick, easy. So I did that. Or I have that. This one was, uh, I think this one was, um, This might have been an exclusive for Colorado uh, Cross Stitch Guild. Colorado Ro Rocky Cross Stitch Guild. Might have been. I think that's how I got this one. It's Martha Martin, 1831. By Wild Iris Stamps. She does good stuff, and I know she's got some good stuff coming, because I've seen a little sneak peek, so keep an eye out. Keep an eye out, but Christina has good charts. Okay, so I have that. I bought this kit from the attic and got... I actually want to do Mary Carr. Mary Carr is, I didn't bring it, but she's on my list to start this year, like at the very top. But when this one was released, I wanted to do it. Actually, I didn't buy the kit. I bought the threads of the chart. So I have to pick linen. Another Teresa Covet in our home. This one's out already. I like that one. I like, ooh, I like houses with grass and animals. What else do I have? Oh, this one I really wanted. This one I think was maybe a, this might have been an um, attic, like summer school or sampler symposium type kit, but it's out now. It came out last year. Rebecca Stewart, 1836. By Needle Made Designs. 
I love this one. So that's a good one. I should put that kind of farther at the top because I was really excited to get this one. She's had a few that I've been really um, excited to have come out. Okay, Sarah's House by Blackbird Designs. I think I think this might be out of print. Where did I get this? House of Stitches. Um, I think Carol Saltbox has talked about doing this one. And I actually like this one, which it's a variation of the same sampler. Actually, the back is the antique. So here, I'll show you the, this one is in the book. It's called A Flock of Friends. I want to do that one. And actually, I do the other one too, but for this book... Okay, see, this is the one I think Carol had said she wanted to do. And that's the one. This is the antique on the back. So it's a pretty true. They don't do a lot of true reproductions, but this one is. It's pretty exact. And then this book also has. So this one you might have to do some searching for or maybe one where she where Alma re-releases some of the patterns, I don't know. The little um, Polk Nebraska pin cushion is cute too. Where is Polk Nebraska? Hmm. My dad's parents grew up in Nebraska. But I'm not familiar, I'm gonna have to Google that. That's cool, okay. So, oh, another 1884 stitchery download you can do. The John Foster sampler. I know I've shown this. This one I really, I had not I had this one out because I want to go get the DMC for it. I love that one. I want this one ready to go when I feel like stitching it. That's why I had this one out. So... There's a couple of weeks colors, mostly DFC. How to do that one? I still got a little time. Okay, uh, this one I actually have thread kits for this that I just um, put on. I have the chart and the thread kits on my website. This was an exclusive for the Homespun Needlework group, and I believe, I can't remember if it came out as a whole or if this is the one she did as chunks. I think this is the one that Stacy Nash did as chunks. So they released it in little, it was like a stitch along with like, it was released in sections. Maria Higginson, 1837. So if you like that one, I have the chart, and I also have thread packs with all of the, the week's dye works and they're listed separately so and then here on the back is the antique which is super cute that was done on week's dye works straw linen with week's dye works threads why do I have a floss drop thing on here I don't know this one was in my pile that um, I didn't bring out for my whip braid. I forgot it. There's a couple. Rachel Howe. There's a few that I had going that I forgot to pull out. This is Sarah Spur by Carriage House. And I'm doing this one on Alcott by Needle and Flex. And that's how much I have done. Oh, that's it. That one's NPI. Ooh, look at that. Got a hanging needle. Okay. So, 
this is decaf. I'd never make it if it weren't. My coffee pot went in for repair uh, yesterday to UPS. So I've been having to drink. Well, it's not been working, and so I've been using my Nespresso machine, which is not the same as a drip coffee. And I'm kind of missing, I miss the drip coffee because I like both. Oh boy, I have a lot here. Oh, no, I had another haul piece. See, I was just shoving in a bag. So I already got, I know a lot of people ordered through Homespun Needlework on Facebook. The exclusive this month is Stacy Nash and it's Caroline's Sampler Pouch. And you just have to join the group to be able to um, purchase this. They're still selling it. <clears throat> and you can get it through Acorns and Threads if you are a member of the Homespun Needlework Group. And I think the first batch of these have just recently gone out because I just got mine a couple days ago. And it comes with all the stuff and a Bitsy Bob. I've never used one. So I think... I'm not completely sure what this is. I know you put your little thread bits here and then there's holes here to hang your threads. Is there a magnet in this? I, I'm not sure exactly. I don't use stuff like this, really. I don't, there might be a, I think there's a magnet in there for your needle. Don't ask me. And I'm keeping it in the project bag that was mailed in. All right. So I got that. Um, I also have Stacy Nash 1902 Paris Sampler Bag. Which I might, I don't know if I'd do this as a bag or if I'd frame it. Ooh, that's got glare. That's got a lot of glare. I don't know. Can you see that? You're not answering me. Okay. So I got that. I actually ordered that from Acorns and Threads too, because that was one I didn't have, and I <clears throat> saw it on their website. Whew. Okay, what else do I have in here? Oh, I love this one. This one was... Might have been market last year, and this is another Queenstown. And I have it um, kitted up with NPI because this is going to be amazing. I actually was thinking of starting this at Christmas, and I didn't. Oh dear, 1830. Nice, huh? Okay, hold on one second. Let's see. All right. <sighs> Little. She had to bring the dogs in, so. It's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep going because I want some stitching time. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? This one, I was, ooh, I was thinking of starting... I debated starting this for New Year's Day, and I didn't yet, but it's going to be soon. And I might have shown you this one. This was an exclusive for Sampler Guild of the Rockies. I think that's what it's called. I always forget. Uh, Eliza Rossiter, 1853 by Scarlet House. And that one is, uh, the call for linen is dirty teacup. So I think I can get my hands on some. So I will be doing that. And I saw Tanya is not going to be doing market this year, but she will, she had said she will be releasing, uh, some new charts on her own. I think she said she had like five that are coming soon. And... So that'll be nice. 
Another Teresa Kogut, Bristol Haven. This was a Patreon September. This was Sampler September. I had that one out because I need the DMC. Uh, I did order some missing threads. Um, they're in a bag. I still have to get them. These are older Brenda Gervais that I've kind of been toying around wanting to do. They're very small. You could probably get them through her on her website. She is another one that I don't think is going to market. She did just uh, put out some new releases. And they're good. Uh, her sampler, I can't remember the name. Maybe that was the New Jersey sampler. No, I don't know if she said where it was from. Mary somebody, I think. It's good. I can't wait to get that one. This is Adam and Eve. I was kind of thinking of doing a little collection of the small ones. And then she has, I probably wouldn't do all of these, but these are the Sampler Petites. And there's a couple of these that I like too. I like this Adam and Eve. I like the berry basket. Oop. I like them all. This is collection two. And then this is collection one. And I like this one, and I like this one. Well, I like them all. I just, maybe I'll do them all. Hey, Tug. I have a dog in my lap. Hey, buddy. Okay. I've only got a couple more, and then I'm done. Okay, Ann Simpson, 1837. This is the Sampler Works, and <clears throat> this is out of print, so you're going to have to look for it. But I had this one out because I bought the threads. Ann Simpson, 1837. drop something. Oh well, I'll get it in a minute. Okay, so I have that one. This is another one I wanted to get the threads for. This is Sampler Company, uh, Brenda Keys. I can't remember. I never remember which one this one is. It's not real clear on the front. Country House Sampler. Let's see. Yes, Country House Sampler. I'd like to do that one. I need to get the DMC. Actually, I should just put this in my wallet. It comes with whoop, a little. I should just stick that in my wallet now. And then when I'm out, I can... I'm near Joann's or Hobby Lobby, I can get that. So that's why I had that out. And I had out one other Teresa Koga. I did not do, those weren't in my pile because I watched Teresa last night. They have just been ones that I wanted. So this is land that I love, and I have the Overdides, but I don't have the DMCs. Well, I probably do, but I'm going to go buy the DMCs because I'm going to do this this summer for sure, or at least start it. Probably on Steinbeck. We'll see. We're in the for. And it's in a project bag. So I think that's all I have. That's plenty. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to tell you. I'm going to give you a heads up. So we have a shop in Michigan, um, Stitches and Things, and their website, stitchesandthings.com. They are going out of business. She is um, wanting to retire, tried to find a buyer, blah, blah, blah. She wrote about it in her newsletter, and it's on her website. And after a few years of trying to work with some different buyers, it just didn't 
didn't pan out. So she's going to close down. She has owned a shop for a long time and it's retirement time, not because, not because the shop wasn't doing well. It's a pretty successful shop. But um, they are having, uh, if you go on their website, stitchesandthings.com, she is having a sale. It's 25% off everything if you use the keyword closing when you check out. She is going to market and buying market stuff and taking market orders because she is keeping the shop open until the end of March. Um, and she said that she would like to go see all of her friends at market one last time before she closes down. So she will also have market stuff um, at some point in March. But she has, their website's kind of funky. It's a little old fashioned. There is a, their regular catalog of stuff and she has everything from, she has overdyes and silks and frames and, you know, pin cushions and just all kinds of stuff. Lone Elm Lane, different shadow boxes and horn books. I mean, there's a lot of different stuff on there. Um, and then a ton of charts. So her regular stuff that's regular price is in her regular catalog. And then there's a SNT catalog. And if you click on there, that's their discounted stuff. And it's already 50% off. So you would get an additional 25% on top of that. And that's cheaper than wholesale. So, and it's like so many charts, it's not even funny. I have been to that shop quite a few times. It is tiny, it's the size of a cracker box. So she's always been one that I have liked to check and order stuff because she always has a ton of stuff on discount because she just doesn't have the room or didn't have the room to keep bringing in new stuff and not push uh, you know, extras out. And over the years, I have found a lot of out of print and hard to find charts in her collection. So I would encourage you to go over there and do some shopping and sit with your laptop or your tablet because there is so much to look at. Um, when you're looking through the sales pages, I would definitely recommend um, do a search for your favorite designers. Um, they may not be in the discounted part, but they are probably in her regular catalog, which you could at least get 25% off. So I thought maybe you guys would want to know that that was a deal. I also did not draw a name for the Kathy Barrett chart, so I will tell you next time. I didn't remember until we were halfway through this. Whatever. I'm just doing this spur of the moment. So that's that. So I'm going to stop this so that I can go stitch and use my good friend Pam's good internet here. Upload my video. And I will do another video. Um, I'll do the first lady stuff. We better not have another like snow day or unforeseen event, illness. I mean, all kinds of stuff has gone on since the last time I did it. And that's why I haven't done it yet. So I will have another video at the beginning of the week. And then hopefully next weekend we'll have a live. So I'll probably be in the same spot doing a live. And ooh, I have a dog here. And that's it. So I will talk to you later. Bye.